what's up and welcome back to my channel on today's video you guys we're gonna be battling the setting sprays now it's gonna be crazy because I kind of want to go ahead and just figure out what's the best setting spray and also powder you guys I just don't really have any long-lasting powders so this is why we're doing this liquid first and then we'll move on to the powder why are we out of focus come on now my camera has been doing this literally all day and I have been having to refilm it so Hopefully that made it fix. Sometimes autofocus really sucks, especially when I'm using original light. So, you know. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and battle Gerard's Cosmetics and Huda Beauty. Now, I've heard a lot of good reviews of Huda Beauty and a lot of bad ones as well. But I know that, you know, it's a matte, it's a waterproof setting spray ultra matte finish it's waterproof it's not technically like smudge proof or like it's not gonna like move off or stuff like that and then this is a gerard setting spray this one is a setting spray before or after your makeup application to keep it fresh and flawless keeps your skin matte and increases the wear of your makeup time now the only one that i recall that that you could like smudge it and it won't go away it is the Urban Decay's, which is on its way. So I'm going to also battle that one between the Huda one or just between who wins. I actually kind of want to battle this one between the Huda one because I've seen a lot of people spray um, like liquid or eyeliner on their arms and then spray the Huda and then like smudge it and it doesn't really smudge off. So I'm going to test it out. We're going to see what's up with me wearing a mask on it. Honestly, I do love the Huda Beauty one just by itself because it's a fresher matter and it just kind of makes my makeup last longer but because we are going to be wearing a mask for about eight hours we really don't know if it's going to like move around or if it's going to peel off or what's the 411 on this so stay tuned and let's get started to what's going to happen the battle of setting spray so i'm going to go ahead and just grab this kind of to like divide it so it wouldn't spray on my face so we're going to go ahead and just Okay, there we go. So we have this side of my face done, which we're going to let that settle in. I feel like I missed a lot in my nose area, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of just spray it there. Okay, there we go. Ooh, it smells so good. Now we're going to go ahead and use the Huda Beauty one on this side. Okay. Ooh, I'm horrible with my... Okay, I'm going to try it. I'm not really good with my left. Oh, she is burning. Oh, I smell the alcohol. Now, usually Huda Beauty does contain, I believe, alcohol. Um, if I'm not mistaking, yes, it does. It contains alcohol. That's by Burns, and because I do have some minor cuts on this side it did sting um let's go ahead and just this one's still pretty wet this one has already settled in i'm gonna go ahead and get my nose a little bit more just because i know that i the mask is always going to be on your nose so i'm gonna go ahead and spray it a little bit more on this side oh i need to cover it oh i missed it I literally had to spray three times because I missed it. It went that way. Then it went that way, that way. Finally, it hit it the right one. Okay, so the Gerard's Cosmetics is still pretty wet. I could still feel it on my cheek. The Huda Beauty has officially completely dried. Um, Let's go ahead and start off our day and let's see what's up, what's happening, what's caking up because I know instantly this is always in a cake up. I have really, really, really deep smile lines which I'm not okay with but it's my face so I'm I'm okay with it. I'll see you guys in a bit. I love the 4K. You see my lipstick, you see some down there and some down there. Let's flip it over. The Gerard Cosmetic side. The Huda Beauty. I'll be checking out in later on, probably in two more hours, we'll be doing a checkup to see what's the 411 on this. Okay, so it's been another, it's been another two hours. What are we looking like? 
I haven't seen myself. Whoa, there's actually more makeup down there. What do we think? So far, so good. I feel like my face is just like taking up badly. Okay, time to show you guys the mask. Remember, this is Gerard's Cosmetics and this is Huda Beauty. Okay, so it has been officially another two hours, you guys. I'm looking at myself in the mirror because I wanted to see what's going on. And um, as you can see, this is the side of Huda Beauty. And I am looking at myself in the mirror. I'm trying to do both things at the same time. And I do notice that I have a patch here gone and a kind of patch here gone. And I kind of have a patch here. And I have big smile lines going on. Um, I do have a patch here gone as well. Hopefully, I'm in focus. You see this? Like, it's gone completely. Then I also have like my whole chin is just officially gone from both sides, the Gerard's Cosmetics, as well as the Huda Beauty one. So um, my lipstick is completely devoured as well. <laughs> I have a zit here. The no the the nose. My foundation of my nose is completely gone. So overall, for being an eight-hour shift and the makeup looking like this, I feel that Gerard's cosmetic kind of did a lot better than the Huda Beauty just because I am missing some right here that's I feel it's larger my nose space like look at this look at this big difference than this side like right here I still have some but it's not that huge as this side I don't know like it kind of feels like this was all Huda Beauty completely right here that's gone and then my whole chin is gone, which I don't understand why to begin with. Maybe because of the mask, it like kind of covers my chin a lot. But I'm going to show you guys how my mask looks like of makeup. It's not that much. I think because I wore a gray one, you can't really tell how much makeup was on it. But overall, I want to go ahead and say that the products that I did use, I'm going to leave a link down below. But I will say that Gerard's Cosmetics did do better than the Huda Beauty. I hope you guys enjoy this video and... um. Yes, go ahead, buy yourself some Gerard Cosmetics, you guys, because that lasts on the mask under better than Huda. But again, we're going to go ahead and battle with other ones, so stay tuned for more videos, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.